what's popping gang welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video from yours truly yes sir we are back on the grind i'm back to posting back to giving y'all some legendary hopefully creative and inspirational content man um so video for the supercharger is now out it's it's, it's just a screen recording it's nothing else really to it but when Instagram saw that when I post when I posted that out there and people started you know finding out, I got a lot of questions back, man. Why didn't you go with the V8? Uh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? So on, so forth. So this video is literally here just to clarify on these questions, man. Just to answer some stuff. So I give y'all the top three reasons why I didn't go the V8 route and. Let me say this though, for those that got the VAs, yo, more power to you. I am, I'm not hating. I'm not a hater, nothing like that in my blood. But my three reasons, man, currently, right now. One, the price for them is through the roof. And that's the whole car market in general. And you can't really do nothing about it. You can't change it. So I get it. Can't really, can't do much about that. But these VAs are way overvalued right now. Not overvalued, overpriced. And I, I can't get on board with it, man. So, no. Are they great cars? Would I love to have one? Yes, of course. Hellcats them a dream car. I'm not changing that for nothing, but it's just, I, I'm not willing to get, I'm not willing to get that price. I'm not willing to get stuck with that price and that payment. I, I'm just not with it, man. Um, two, everybody is rolling the V8. Here in Colorado, I can only speak here in Colorado. Everybody has a V8 right now. They're killing the streets. They're flooding the streets. Mustangs, Chargers, Challengers, Camaros, you name it. They're all over the street, all over YouTube, Instagram, internet. Everybody and their mom has a V8. Now, I'm not hating. No way am I hating. But it's just... Why get a V8 and just blend in with a crowd? Sure, I could have built one up. I could have did this to it, could have did that to it. Yeah, cool. But I already got a car that I've built stuff on. I've I got a car already that I've put my own work into. So I figured it was I figured I might as well keep mine and ultimately go to the high end of it in terms of mining it. So that's what I decided to do. Third reason the timing just wasn't right man and to some people some people know what that feels like because it's kind of hard to explain like everything was lined up i could have went i could have went to a hellcat if i'm being honest with you i could have went to one it was a 2017 model in texas like northern end of texas i could have went that route and well could we afford it yeah we could have easily did it it's just something didn't feel right in the back of my head i'm like you know what don't do it don't do it yet don't rush it don't rush it so i decided to not do it man um i was looking at camaros zl1s two ss's you name it all the big well-known v8s in america i was looking at it's just something fell off so i didn't do it so those are the reasons as to why i didn't go the v8 route and hopefully that answers some of the questions man and if it don't that's fine that's fine but to each his own I'm not completely killing the idea of a V8, but it's just right now, it just, it just doesn't fit right now. And if it makes sense, it makes sense. If it don't, cool. But I'm gonna go on to the reasons why I did end up keeping my car and what the trade-in value was actually, cause that was shocking. But the three reasons why I decided to keep it and go to the supercharge route. One, man, I've done so much to this car. I put so much work into this car, so much energy, so much time. Money is money is money. Money come and go. Um, I've done so much to it already. I'm so invested into it already. It's kind of like, yo, wait, the journey ain't done yet. Why cut it off right here when I got the opportunity to completely finish it and legit one of one? Why? So that's one reason. The second reason was 
But when I took that break from filming and posting on Instagram and stuff, I sat back and started looking around. I sat back legit for like two or three weeks and just looked around. I was looking for people that are doing what I'm doing. How many people are doing what you're doing? Um, the answer is simple. A handful. A handful. Um, Sleeper Six is one. Car Reviews with Foosh is one. Um, I forget the other guy's name. He has a charger. Uh, there's another cat that's rolling a supercharged Challenger V6. I, f- I forget their names. But they come up in my recommended, man. So... Yeah, but there's only a handful of us. There's not a lot of people doing this to V6s, man. So I figured, hey, you know what? Let's capitalize on the idea. My goal from day one with the 300 was to supercharge and build it. Let's supercharge it. Let me put my name into them books real quick and uh, see where it takes me. So that's another reason why I stuck with it. And then the third reason was, honestly, man, I felt like I owed it to myself. I can't say I owed it to y'all because some of y'all probably didn't want to see it. Some of y'all did. Cool. But I felt like I owed it to myself. And I guess some of y'all that did want to see it done, because honestly, in the world of V6 mods, what's higher than supercharging? What's higher? Now, whether you supercharge a twin turbo, what's higher than boosting it? There's nothing. That's the pinnacle of engine mods. And then you just build around it, tune it, so on and so forth. But nobody's doing it, man. There's not enough of us. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to put myself into that little category and see where it takes me, man. So, yeah, man, with that being said, listen, man, hopefully that clears all that up. And I'm just going to move on from that. So now what's next to come is I've done stuff to my car already that y'all didn't see. Nobody's seen it. Instagram hasn't even seen this stuff. So, for example, new wheels and tires. <laughs> um, that's a separate video because I'm the first to do what I did. And I promise you, nobody else has done it. Because I looked around for it and nobody's done it. But I got y'all. I put y'all on some game, man. But yeah, the next video is going to be the complete list of modifications that I've done to the car. And that's from when I bought it to now. Minus the supercharger because it's not on there yet. But um, complete list of modifications where I got them, how much I paid. And I think I'll just leave it at that. And um, till the next time, y'all, listen, stay safe, stay out the way. Get inspired, get some creativity. And fucking build your car, man. Make your car one of one. And that's it. That's all you need to do. But until then, y'all, I catch y'all in the next video. I'm out of here.